time once again for another latchkey food review and uh i'm doing good today i'm on my second review for the day <laughs> this one i'm happily excited to push through though i was just going to do the one review today but then i saw where i could get early access to something that is supposed to be coming out tomorrow on the 12th today is 9-11-2023 and we're going to Arby's to try out their new big game burger now from what I've heard this game is this big game burger is 30% elk 30% venison and the rest is ground beef or, or beef so that sounds interesting to me and if I can get an early access to it a day early then heck yeah heck yeah I'm not sure if I can I've got I gotta get there and see first uh, according to the sources that I talked to today I should be able to get an early access burger a day early on the 11th when they're coming out clearly on the 12th according to everything that I've heard and what they say on their website so you bet I'm excited about it I cannot wait to try it. I don't think I've ever eaten elk before. I have eaten, you know, venison, you know, being a good old southern country boy like myself. Of course, I've eaten some venison a time or two or seven. <laughs> Probably way more than that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Arby's, that's an unusual combination of a burger, right? You know, you got some uh, elk meat in there, some deer meat in there I guess you know uh, and, and, and some and some cow meat in there <laughs> combine all that together and it's a wild game burger which makes sense you know because you know it ground beef does make a burger uh, apparently so does elk and I know deer makes burger so yeah it, that would qualify it as a wild game burger I got a better name for it. The Game and Tame. <laughs> Domesticated cows get it. <laughs> the Game and Tame Burger. <laughs> Alright, before I say anything else crazy like that, I will uh, cut you here and I will see you at Arby's. Alright folks, so I am turning into Arby's now. And, uh, We're going to check it out and see if it's got a uh, wild game burger. I think it says it on the other side of that sign. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out in just a second. Thank you for choosing Arby's. Would you like to try the new big game burger today? You can order when you're ready. Yeah, let me try that big game burger. Okay, do you want the meal or just the burger? Just the burger. Okay, anything else? That'll do it. All right, you can go to pull around. It'll be 10 55. All right, thank you. You're welcome. 10.55. Now, I thought when you added the game, like the venison and the uh, elk in there, things should be cheaper, right? Because, uh, yeah, beef is the better quality of the three right but you are getting more beef than the other two all right let me pay for it i'll get back with you in a second okay so i'm sitting here waiting on it and i'm looking at a picture of it right there on the door so apparently this arby's you know got it a day early or the website was wrong or my source was wrong about it but there it is you can see that on the door so it looks like it's got some onion rings on it I'm not sure I think that might be some kind of like well it would be onion rings but it's more like onion strips but same thing <laughs> and some barbecue sauce on top of the onion rings uh, looks like it's got 
Swiss cheese on it. I mean, you know, they tried to fancy it up, you know, as best they can. And pickles on the bottom. Now, I ain't liking the look of them pickles. Them look like them old uh, pickles that everybody's been using here lately that uh, supposed to be, you know, kind of still, you know, in its cucumber phase, between its cucumber phase and its pickle phase. Just give me the pickle. <laughs> uh, some of those can be good, but more often than not here lately I've noticed they are off-putting for some reason I, I don't like that just go back to the regular pickle folks come on <laughs> all right so uh yeah we'll be giving this thing a try I don't see it being worth ten dollars now that picture there it's got a really big old thick burger patty you know And, uh, you know, the, the burger is, you know, bulging past the bun, you know, the top and the bottom bun. But uh, I don't think we're going to get that. All right. So we got it. He says it's hot. To Be careful. It kind of scared me. Snuck up on me, little sneaky little guy. But, hey, he took care of me now. I do appreciate that. Now, if we can just find us a good old shady spot, I think I see one right there. And we'll take care of this bad boy real quick. And we'll hit the road and we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. Works out good enough. All right. There we go. Brought my own drink. Glad I did. Ten dollar burger. This thing allowed to cost me seventy five dollars as a combo. <laughs> All right, so it's got no name here at Arby's. Just a regular, you know, plain packaging. And uh, whoo, that Swiss cheese is melting all over the place. So yes, they cooked it fresh. Swiss cheese is sticking to the paper. All right, so that's what you get with a big game burger Arby's. Now, just like I thought, the meat is not bulging all the way around, you know. But they did a good job trying to fake it. <laughs> all right, so. Oh yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, so I was wrong about the pickles. They did give us uh, regular pickles. Yay! Yay! I'm excited for that. I'm not sure if I like it. I, mean, I don't hate it. Don't get me wrong, it's a burger. I don't hate it.
I mean, I'm trying to taste just the meat. There ain't really a lot of flavor coming from the meat. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if that's the gamey part. I mean, without the barbecue sauce and the fried onions on there, which are good, but if it was just the burger and the cheese and the pickles and uh, like mayo or something, it would be pretty bland, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not great. It's just not great. That meat. Just doesn't have any kind of flavor at all. All right, we'll talk about it in the afterthoughts. Coming up next. All right, so <laughs> my final afterthoughts on Arby's Big Game Burger is, and this might be a first for my channel so far. I'm gonna give this one a two thumbs down. I don't think it's worth your time and money. <laughs> uh, like I said, the the meat on it, there was nothing special about it. It wasn't flavorful at all. It was pretty bland. Um, like I said, being from the South, I've never eaten elk before, but I have eaten deer and venison on numerous occasions. And the way I like to eat it is, uh, you know, I like to make like spaghetti and sloppy joe and stuff like that with, with ground, uh, ground venison meat. Uh, just plain burgers, not so much. I don't really, you know, care for a plain burger made of venison. Uh, they're okay. They're okay. If you season them up right and uh, grill them up right in some kind of way, they're okay. They don't take the place of that black Angus beef for sure. Uh, <laughs> now, the reason I give it two thumbs down is mainly because of lack of flavor. I mean, basically all your flavor is coming from the uh, fried onion ring or uh, fried onion strips or whatever they are. 
and the barbecue sauce. The cheese offers very little to no flavor whatsoever. Um, it, it's just not a good burger, folks. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I feel bad about giving it a two thumbs down, you know, because I try to be optimistic and give everything a benefit of the doubt. But honestly, you could go get better burgers, you know, for that price or cheaper at any of the other places. Just go to Wendy's and get you a burger. Now, with that being said, you know, I don't want to leave Arby's on too bad a note. I really enjoyed their Wagyu Steakhouse burger that they had a few months back that I've done a review on. I gave it a two thumbs up. It was a good burger. But the big game burger, that's going to be a no for me. <laughs> Alright, folks, that is all I have for this one. So until the next one, y'all have a good one.